Hi, this is Hayden Carter here for another 60 Seconds of Safety. And normally we like to talk about how to predict or prevent accidents from happening, but today and in the next couple weeks, we're actually gonna talk about what happens after an accident might unfortunately occur. And so we're really gonna focus in on creating a crisis communication plan. So the first couple steps of that is, first and foremost, making sure you have good relationships with your local press or any press that might cover stories like this. So make sure that on a quarterly basis, you're going out to visit them, they're coming to visit you, you have that relationship and rapport. So when something does happen, you can jump on the phone and start to create, start to make sure that you can control that narrative with them. And they have that relationship with you already built. Secondly, you're going to want to make sure that you have a plan of the communication already built out for each of those different scenarios, right? So understanding what happens when there's a fatality, what happens if there's injuries or towing, whether your driver's at fault or not, right? So being able to have a good crafted plan, both from your response to that incident, but also sound bites for that incident. Because the worst thing you can do is say no comment. Comment. Because if you don't give them something to fill that story with, they're going to fill it themselves. And so the best thing you can do is make sure that you have good, scripted, understood plans for how to attack each of those different scenarios. So thank you again for listening. This has been another 60 Seconds of Safety. And stay tuned for next week as we dive deeper into a crisis communication plan.